Jackson, great college friend of Governor Rick Snyder. What you see there is an actual fascist cartel coming together to loot the state and to simply privatize and expropriate these valuable uh, assets, right? And you're fighting against that, and they frame you up. It violates the Helsinki Accords and the OSCE. It violates the Organization of American States, Inter-American, uh, Western Hemisphere, human rights things. So, Reverend, before we go any further, tell us, again, I could practically recite this myself, but you better. Uh, how can they send you money? How can they help? Uh, you can go to BH. Banco.org. That's B H B A N C O dot or. Or you can mail a check to Banco, B A N C O, 1940 Union, Benton Harbor, Michigan, 49022. We really, truly, truly need funds. And I can't express that more. We need them right now more than ever before. Because I'm telling you, the 12th, December the 12th is going to be a big day, but we still got to have the funds to win this battle. Those of you, I wish there was 10 people out there who could send me $1,000 and I wouldn't have to worry. But that's, that's asking a lot. But if you can send whatever you can just to show them what we can do if we put our heads together and fight this battle. Because we're going to win. I'm going to win for Randy. I'm going to win for you, and I'm going to win for L, everybody who's listening to this program. I'm going to fight this battle until the end. And that's a promise and not a say-so. Great. Great, Reverend. Um, any any interesting developments on the ground? Any comments from that guy? What's his name? Sepik? <laughs> the, uh, the prosecutor or the judge or anything like this? Well, uh, nothing yet, but uh, the key thing, I also want people to make sure they mail their letters to this judge. Oh, right. And, and make sure they say, we, do, we don't want leniency, because we're saying Len leniency, what you're saying, I'm guilty, give him a plate. We want them to say, how is it possible for a man to be convicted without any evidence? And also by the all-white jury that was motivated by something other than the truth. And here, I want them to send the letter to Sterling Chirac. That's C-H-R-O-C-K. That's 811 Port, P-O-R-T, St. Joseph, Michigan, 49085. That's Sterling Chirac, 811 Port Street, St. Joseph, Michigan, 49085. That's crucial. And we don't, we're not talking about leniency. That, we're not begging. We're going in there fighting. And we want to, we want to know how is it possible to, to convict a man with absolutely no evidence, none, here in America, only in America. Reverend, it's also, that. for people, people who would like to have a detailed introduction, a walkthrough, how you do these letters, and also some other questions that, that organizers... And, and indeed, the people they've contacted have asked if we go to um, the um, United Front Radio with uh, with Daniela Walls and uh, and Kyle um, uh, McCarthy, her um, her uh, co-host. I believe they did an interview with you. That's going to be it's going to be on on the radio here Friday the twenty first. But you can also find that and get more detail. Correct. Okay. And don't forget, go to bhbanko.org and please send me a donation. It got to okay. be done. We'll, we'll be in touch, Reverend. See you soon. More power to you, and we'll be back in a minute. With autumn in the air, it's time to think about getting ready for winter. And it's time to save at HerbalHealer.com. You'll find amazing seasonal savings to prepare you for the fight against cold and flu season. Like Oregacillin to promote lung health. 30 capsules, regularly $34.95, now only $25. HHA Olive Leaf, the natural antiviral, normally $16.95, now 60 capsules are just $12. HHA Elderberry Power, a great flu and virus fighter, regularly $16.95, 60 capsules, now $10. Save on all our homeopathic detoxes. Choose from lungs, kidney, liver, brain, libido, or whole body, normally $26.95, now just $20. Visit HerbalHealer.com and click on the Fall Winter Specials button.
button to save on all our natural cold and flu fighting products. Also explore our Herbal Healer Academy correspondence courses that teach you how to handle your health naturally. HerbalHealer.com, healing the world with nature, one person at a time, since 1988. Gold, it's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-2237 for the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As Good As Gold can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800-686-2237. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Three square meals you'll need in an emergency. So the Freeze Dry Guys three square meal unit sale is just the ticket. A variety pack of tasty, nourishing breakfast, lunch, and dinner on sale now. Breakfast is Freeze Dry Guys' favorite. Hot oatmeal and sweet dehydrated bananas. Lunch is Mountain House freeze dried hot macaroni and cheese and crisp green beans. And dinner is Mountain House long grain wild rice pilaf and hearty beef stew, vegetables, and gravy. Call Freeze Dry Guy and ask for details on the 120. 26 serving three square meals unit. One case normally 164.37. Sale price at only 138.90. Save over 25 bucks. Get two or three cases and save even more. Or ask about Freeze Dry Guys Fall Chili Special. Always free shipping to the lower 48 states. Call 866-404-3663 or click freezedryguy.com. And hurry, the Fall Chili Special and three square meals unit are on sale while supplies last. From the Freeze Dry Guy, the finest freeze dried and dehydrated foods available for long term storage. Period. What good is a Big Berkey water filter? We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. UnseenNow.com, proud sponsor of GCN. Unseen Now's unparalleled encryption tools keep your communications secure. GC. Crisis Radio. Now, we've um, heard from Reverend Pinkney, and as I pointed out in that interview, there's now a very disturbing pattern emerging of civil, uh, civil rights, human rights uh, violations, constitutional right violations, between Pinckney in Benton Harbor, Michigan, and our next guest, that is to say, Randy Credico, Candidate for mayor of New York, uh, governor of New York, senator, I think, previously. He's run for virtually every principal office in the state. 
He is now facing a court date where the threat is five to 25 years, based once again on this ridiculous repeat offender uh, business, which simply means if you have some minor civil disobedience conviction or even a frame up, that uh, they can then railroad you to jail for these draconian sentences. So this has got to be fought. So we're moving. Once we have two cases, it's a pattern. One you can quibble with, yeah, but not two. And here's the second. So, Randy, welcome. Hey, how are you doing? I'm not facing five to twenty-five. I think uh, the Reverend is. I'm, I'm facing up to five. Up five, to five. Five years. Yes. Well, that's uh, that's know. still way too much. <laughs> well, of course, I was just videotaping the police uh, up when I was running for governor. Uh, I was up uh, doing a interview. I was on my way up to Westchester with a respected uh, uh, Westchester Journal reporter. And, uh, you know, I get off the uh, subway up there, uh, very far end, and I uh, noticed something going on. Three guys dressed without badges, hassling some, like, 80-year-old black man, you know, forlorn-looking black man who had gone from one train car to another train car, as it turns out, because it was too hot, you know? So uh, that was his offense. So he had three guys on my video tape. I started taking pictures of it. wasn't for sure they were police. And uh, these guys started videotaping me. And we had some words. They were videotaping me, which they're not supposed to do, because I wasn't the subject of an investigation. I was just, you know, freely videotaping, which I do all the time. I take pictures all the time. Uh, of the police in New York City. You know, I wish I could get judges uh, who are uh, abusers as well, as in this case of the Reverend. Uh, but uh, the next thing you know, I'm arrested. It's been 24 hours in uh, a Bronx, a real uh, sordid, uh, rancid, medieval kind of, uh, uh, worse than the Bastille, at least the Bastille, you know, you're in there for letters of cachet, so, you know, it's a myth <laughs> that conditions were that bad, you know. So th- th- this was really... Uh, nasty and with feces on the ground, the roaches. And, you know, I'm in a room with 30 people. It was really, um, and there were six cells uh, across from each other, three on either side. And you got uh, correctional officers who are telling me, please, when you get out of here, talk about what we're going through. I mean, they're being paid to be in jail as well. So I'm facing now, what they did was, since it was raining that day, I had an umbrella. They uh, charged me with three counts of menacing the police threatening their lives with an umbrella. You know, as trigger-happy as the NYPD's reputation is, uh, that's something I would never do. I mean, not even the penguin uh, would do something like that who towed it an umbrella would, uh, you know, uh, oil at a, a policeman with a, with a, a NYPD cop with, a, with an umbrella. So they got me on that obstruction of government administration. And, of course, our old-time cherry on the top favorite was which is uh, resisting arrest, as if I was running or something. You know what I mean? So I got five right. counts, and uh, these are felonies, you know? A couple of misdemeanors and felonies. So I was in court the other day. Uh, our first appearance, my uh, attorney, who a uh, very, very famous uh, is guy, Marty Stoller, he's defended a lot of Occupy Wall Street, all of them, the majority of Occupy. He got me off a couple of times on those arrests where I was just picked off the street for no cause. Um, and he um, put in a brief, and he put in uh, some motions. And so what the prosecution did was they got rid of that complaint by the uh, first officer who put this 10-page complaint together and substituted it with a new one by another officer. And uh, that superseded the first one, and that's the, the more current charge. And I really think they're trying to save face Uh, on this one. They don't know what to do. It's a political hot potato uh, to be going after the guy running for governor, put him through uh, these uh, conditions, and to overcharge the person. Now, I had videotaped and taken pictures, but, you know, and I haven't had that phone in, I would say, since that date. I still don't have it. Well, the judge took a look at it and found no video on it. So it's been ordered back to me, but the police still haven't returned it. That's where we are right now. They're playing hanky-panky with my phone. Uh, Obviously, something's been deleted there because I was doing it for about five minutes. Anyway, the cop came right up to my face and uh, destroyed my hands, my right thumb, uh, semi-paralyzed for a while. 
uh, with horrible cramps. In fact, when we got to the uh, the station where they dropped us off at the very end up in the Bronx, the, uh, the, uh, the supervisor up there says to the arresting officer, why are his cuffs on so tight? Loosen them up right now. You know? Okay. Randy, let me ask you now, to get it straight, what's coming up is the trial on these charges? Well, it's coming up to 23rd, you know, um, we'll see if they we're trying to get the, we're trying to get it dismissed. 